That is right, ladies and gentlemen, Arsenal have a brand new number 10, and he is the Croydon KDB, aka Elmo Smith Rowe. We shall also be discussing Arsenal's pursuit of James Madison and what fresh reports have come out on the transfer of Tammy Abraham. Join me as always in the latest episode of The Transfers FC. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Babs14 and welcome back to your boy's channel. As per, I'd massively appreciate if you guys can go down there and smash a like on the video and while you're down there, please do consider subscribing to your boy's channel because we are so, so close to the big 50k. Oh my God, it's things you love to see. But let's get straight into talking about Enel Smith Rowe, who today, my friends, has signed the contract. He signed the thing, a five-year contract for big Enel Smith Rowe. Whisper it quietly, ask the vanilla in the mud and it's going to be five more years for Emil Smith Rowe at the mighty gargantuan Arsenal Football Club. As Arsenal confirmed it at 3 pm UK time today, new season, new contract, new number, Emil Smith Rowe, Arsenal's new number 10. Previously wearing the number 32 shirt, Emil Smith Rowe goes into the season as Arsenal's brand new number 10. And with that massive number in the back, it's going to be massive pressure on the young player. But regardless, it is things you love to see. To see a player come through our academy hell end from the age of 9 and 10 all the way to the first team to now being an integral part of the team and the Arsenal number 10 it is absolutely beautiful scenes for Emil smith Rowe and Arsenal. James Bench has confirmed that smith Rowe's new long-term contract is for five years. His salary is understood to be under 80k a week. 80,000 great British pounds a week for Emil smith Rowe. Again, secure the bag my guy, I'm all for it. smith Rowe says, I can't wait to carry on playing for this wonderful club. Signing my new contract means so much to me. I've been waiting for it and to carry on playing for this club it means so much and the fact that now two hail end boys in Bukayo Saka and Emil Smith Rowe both wear the Arsenal number seven and ten shirts respectively is just very heartwarming. Smith Rowe also says my dream is to become a legend here and I can see myself being a one club man if everything works out. Smith Rowe wants to be a legend at the gargantuan institution that is Arsenal and that's not going to be easy. Smith Rowe has great potential but now my friend you have got the Arsenal number 10 shirt and with that comes gargantuan pressure on your shoulders. Previously worn by the likes of Mesut Ozil, Robert Van Persie and Dennis Bergkamp. If you can live up to those levels ESR then it will be absolute scenes Jeff. Make our tear on Smith Rowe. As we all saw last season, Emil is an intelligent player with excellent ability. His sharpness on the turn and exceptional vision have already made him a key player for us. Has also been very impressive. So now on the Mikel Arteta, the likes of Bukayo Saka, Emil Smith Rowe, Gabriel Martinelli, Florian Balogun, and Cole have all signed brand new contracts. And as negative as last season was, at least one massive positive is Arsenal have players for the future signed down to massive long term contracts. But what are your own? Thoughts on Emil Smith Rowe, and what do you think about him taking the Arsenal number 10 shirt? Are you for it or are you against it? And what are your realistic expectations of the player, goals and assist wise, going into the season? But now the ESR has signed the thing, what about other attacking midfield signings? <laughs> According to Pete O'Rourke on the Football Terrace, in terms of Madison, this one is gathering pace. Arsenal are growing more confident that there is a possibility of a deal happening. Encouragement from both sides, representatives and a bit from Leicester too. The player fancies a move to Arsenal. Of course, James Madison wants to come to Arsenal. We're Arsenal. Who do you think we are? But one massive positive there is there's encouragement from both Arsenal side and also Leicester City side. And that tells me that Leicester are open to doing a deal and they don't see Madison as an unsellable player. They quite clearly have a price tag for Madison and if Arsenal put forward an offer that matches that price tag, James Madison will be an Arsenal player. And personally, a boy can see a world where Arsenal put forward a creative solution for James Madison, where they can use players like Ainsley Mayer Niles, maybe a Joseph Willock or Reese Nelson as a part of a swap deal plus cash to see Madison come to the Emirates Stadium. And in terms of ESR taking the number 10 shot and how that affects Madison, of course, in the past, the reliable AFC Bell had said that Arsenal had offered Madison the number 10 shirts. But personally, your boy's not that worried. Because here is a recent quote from James Madison himself. And he says, while he's often labelled as a number 10, the 24-year-old believes that in fact it is not his best position. Instead, preferring to play as a number 8. 
And that is music to the ears of Mikel Arteta, who of course wants to move into the full 3-3 system. And if he were to sign Madison, that would require him to play as a number eight. And so ESR10 and James Madison 8 Arsenal fans, the dream lives on. And while this is so far, and while this is so far from being a done deal, Arsenal definitely have the facilities in place to bring Madison to the Emirates Stadium. And so it's now over to Arsenal, Edu Gaspar, Richard Garlic to negotiate with Leicester and their people and try to agree a suitable fee for James Madison. Madison. But what are your own thoughts on the prospect of ESR being joined by James Madison and do you think both players can operate in the same team and complement each other? Okay moving on let's talk a little bit about Sammy Abraham as today we have an update from a more reliable source in The Athletic as they have confirmed that Arsenal were interested in signing Chelsea striker Tammy Abraham. He is admired by several influential voices within the club, including Mikel Arteta, and the athletic understands he is a potential target in this summer's transfer window. So Mikel Arteta is a fan of Tammy Abraham, what do you make out of that? In terms of the money we're talking here, Arsenal are looking to strike a deal with Chelsea, which would see a loan with the obligation to buy for a fee of £40 million. But you know what I'm really concerned about is why are Chelsea so open to letting the player go in the first place? Because even though we weren't rivals last season, overall we are historical rivals. So the fact that they are openly negotiating with Arsenal for Abraham, for me, that's a massive red flag. The Athletic also claimed that Arsenal recognise that Lacazette's contract situation is not healthy. There is a willingness to let him leave if an appropriate offer arrives. And in that instance, Tammy Abraham is considered an attractive option to replace him. So the Athletic are saying that Arsenal will only make a move for Abraham if we do sell Alexandre Lacazette and then it poses the question is Tammy Abraham an upgrade on Lacazette going into next season in the long term of course he is because he's 23 and Lacazette's 30 so I'm going to throw it to you guys down below in the comments do you think that Tammy Abraham would be a good replacement for the outgoing Alexandre Lacazette are you for it or are you against it Reports in Italy claim a deal has been reached between Arsenal and Roma for Granit Xhaka. 20 million euros is the fee. Only minimal details are left. Tears in my eyes. Finally, we can put this deal to one side and Arsenal can collect their 20 million euros and move on with their lives. So hopefully now this deal is basically done, Arsenal can get the money and move on to their other transfer targets because it is essential that Arsenal do sign a top quality first team central midfielder this summer. Whether it's Locatelli, whether it's a Basuma, a Ruben Neves or other players, I'm not quite sure. But the last thing we need is to let Xhaka go and to not sign a replacement. But who do you guys see as the perfect replacement for the outgoing Granit Xhaka? The Guardian claimed that Arsenal plan a third offer, likely to be the final offer after having two bids rejected for goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale in the coming days. This is very concerning because normally the Guardian are a very reliable source in the UK. And so if they are claiming that Arsenal have made two offers already for Aaron Ramsdale and now are making a third, what exactly is happening at our football club? I've got nothing against Ramsdale, he might be a top individual and could be a decent player in the future. Firstly, is he anywhere near worth the £30 million reported price tag? And secondly, is he really an upgrade on Burt Leno? Because personally, I don't think so. Now in the past, the Athletic have reported that Arsenal see Aaron Ramsdale as a backup to Burt Leno. But if we are spending £30 million on a backup dancer, then once again I have to question the intentions of Arsenal Football Club. As per drop me your thoughts down below on Arsenal apparently making the third third offer for Aaron Ramsdale, what is going on, let's discuss down below. Reports in the UK today claim that Arsenal are among clubs interested in signing Tino Livramento from Chelsea. Not sure if there has been contact between the Gunners and the defender, but I'm told their interest is serious and they are keen to get him in this summer. Tino Livramento, who are you my friend? Well he is a 18 year old right back out of the Chelsea Academy and he's been very very highly read by all their scouts. He has also been linked recently to a transfer to Brighton of course previously have signed Tarek Lamptey from the Chelsea Academy. The only reason I see for Arsenal being in for this player is the fact that he is a right back and quite clearly with Bellerin leaving Arsenal need a brand new fullback in that department. Is signing an 18 year old fullback for Chelsea who has never made a first team appearance in the Premier League really the right decision for Arsenal to be making? 
drinking. The guy is 18 years of age. He can't even drink in America. They're keeping it on the right back. So let's discuss a cheeky little bit of Callum Chambers. Because as you can see right now, here is a graph of Arsenal's fullbacks and their pass reception. On the left hand side, you've got Kieran Tierney, and as you can see, is an advanced almost left winger. But on the right hand side, you've got Callum Chambers, who's far more involved in the build up play than Tierney. I'm going to say right now, let's keep an eye on Callum Chambers this season. Because the fact that he's played in defence before in the past, he's also played as a centre back and a right back. Callum Chambers almost fits the bill of what Arteta wants as an inverted fullback. As when Arsenal move into the attacking phase, he is able to move into midfield and almost partner Thomas Partey. And while I'm not saying he's world class by any means, in terms of technically, he is a pretty decent player. And if you look into the market right now, how many real top quality inverted fullbacks are there on the market that are currently available? Arsenal need quality inverted players. I'm talking players like Zinchenko and Cancelo. And so if you guys can name me that type of player available on the market right now, who is it? And let me know down below. Because right now your boy has scouted and he has searched and I can't find anyone. And moving on to the other Arsenal news today. First things first, we have an update on Gabriel Martinelli and we need to give this guy some good luck. As today his journey begins in Tokyo 2020 for the Brazilian national team in the Olympics. Pele's godson aka Gabriel Martinelli, I want to wish you the best of luck going into the Olympics. Hopefully you smash it and secure that gold medal. And the fact that Martinelli is at the Tokyo Olympics means that he is going to miss the start of Arsenal season and the first few games. Fabrizio Romano claims that William wants Fabrizio Romano claims that William wants to leave Arsenal when Arsenal are open to selling him this summer. So we will see what will be the solution and if they can receive the right bid, but William wants to go. But this is the hard part now on finding a club that is going to pay William's wages because right now I can think of very, very few clubs that would be almost stupid enough to pay that level of money for a player who clearly is on the decline. But alas, William does have a pretty good agent. So I am banking on you, my guy, to get your client a move away, which in the best of luck in the future, but things have simply not worked have Arsenal, we move with life. A Arsenal442.com exclusive claims that Ben White's Arsenal Medical has been scheduled for next Wednesday on the 28th of July. I do want to give you guys a little apology because a few days ago I did a video where I discussed photos of Ben White, you know, on an airplane coming back to London and cutting his holiday shorts. Alas, my friend, your boy was clickbaited and instead Ben White has stayed on his holiday. He's just changed his locations from Rome to Ibiza. But regardless of that, Ben White is going to be an Arsenal player. No need to worry, my friends. It's just not gonna be as soon as your boy expected but that is the video around there if you have enjoyed make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video and while you're down there please do consider subscribing to the boys channel if you want to follow your boy on them social medias the links will be down below in the description but that was the latest episode of the transfers fc and today we discussed tammy abraham james madison but most importantly emil smith rowe and his brand new contract and also new number 10 lads i will see you soon in a bit Thank you.